Hello, genealogists. This is Craig, and this is Just Genealogy, and it's Book Sunday, my favorite day of the week when I have lots of books. But today I only have one book, and that book is The History of Baptist Churches in Maryland. It was originally published in 1885, and it is an excellent book for dealing with the individual Baptist churches in the state of Maryland. Evidently, they tried for years to create this book, 50 years, in fact, uh, but they just never could get it done. And then and then a Baptist minister by the name of the Reverend Dr. George F. Adams decided that he could do that, and then he put things together, and then he died. And so in the interest of um, recognizing him over the next five or six years, they put all his notes together and they created a book, which they again published in 1885. It talks about the early history of Baptist churches in Maryland. It talks about the Baltimore Baptist Association and then the Maryland Baptist Union Association. So it appears that the first Baptist church in Maryland was the satter's church satter's baptist church and it was also known as the chestnut ridge baptist church and it was about nine miles northwest of baltimore town and it belonged to the general baptist as distinguished from the particular baptist or more properly the calvinistic baptist and one of the issues with the Baptist church is not really an issue, but from a perspective of theology, there are probably about, uh, I think the government identified in 1915 in their religious bodies track that there were about 60 different kinds of Baptists. I'm only really familiar with two kinds, and that would be the missionary and or the non-missionary or the schooler or the non-schoolers. Those that uh, the missionary believed that you had to have outreach, the non-schoolers believed that you should just keep to yourself kind of thing. That it's about as succinctly as I can put it. But th that's neither here nor there in regards to this book, because I, these appeared to be the the Maryland Baptist Union Association appears to be a missionary church, a missionary association. I don't know who the non-schoolers were in Maryland. But that's something for the future. I may try to locate that census report. They would do one every 10 years for a while and, and see what I can do to talk about it. It's downloadable from the Census Bureau, so it's readily available, but it's kind of a neat tool, at least from a comparative theology perspective. Um, I always like to know what my ancestors believed. Uh, because much of what they believe may lead you to other information about them, if you understand their belief systems. Back to this book. So after Satter's Baptist Church, there's the First Baptist Church of, of Baltimore, where they discuss, and then they go, which is 1785. And from there, they go on to discuss various churches in the Maryland Baptist Union Association. So you've got a vignette that can be 10 pages, it can be three pages, something like that, on the Baptist churches in Maryland. It's a neat little book, and I uh, am glad that we are able to bring it into print. It looks like, based on the back of the book, that the first Baptist church in Maryland, which is the Chestnut Ridge, was actually founded in 1709. But I think what happens is, is it joins the association later on. And the Maryland Baptist Union Association gets established in 1836. So what you have is you have Baptist churches before the establishment of the Maryland Baptist Union Association that are in this book. There was, in fact, before that, the Baltimore Baptist Association. It's an interesting read. And there are an abundance of names, and there are lists of things like church officers, Sunday school teachers, pastors, etc. And in this book, there are 56 church histories in chronological order of their organization. 
the easiest thing to do is to just use the table of contents because the table of contents lists each church by year of organization. And let's see, and an appendix contains several biographical sketches of leaders in the Maryland Baptist community. And there are engravings of church founders and of churches. So history of Baptist churches in Maryland connected with the Maryland Baptist Union Association book, The History of Middle Tennessee Baptists. And we evidently reprinted it a second time before we ran out of the first printing. And it's much like the book that I've just talked about. There are church sketches. There are sketches of individuals. There are biographies, for example, of deceased ministers. It's a, 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 a deep look into what Middle Tennessee looked like from the Baptist perspective. And it's, of course, full of names, names of pastors, names of deacons, those kind of things. So what I, I have eight copies of this book. And I would like very much to get them off my shelf so I can sell the new version. There's no difference between the two except the price. It costs less to print this book than it does to, does to print the new one. To make my life easier, what I'd like to do is if I just put this book up at a 40% discount for you, eight copies worth, uh, and then it'll run out. And this is The History of Middle Tennessee Baptist by J.H. Grime. I'll put a link to both the Baptist churches in Maryland, which doesn't have a discount because it's newly reprinted, and then the Middle Tennessee Baptists. I'll put the link to that in the description below. If there are some church records that you would like me to talk about, I can do that. We have lots of church records at Heritage Books. I can talk about the church records in a county. I can talk about a specific religion. There are all kinds of things that I can talk about. Because I like to talk. I guess you know that. So this is Craig. This has been Book Sunday here at Just Genealogy. And I will see you tomorrow. I guess I should give you a discount code. The discount code is MIDTN20MID1020.